guys. Handy Hannah. Back at it again. <laughs> I knew Brett was gonna be like, the fuck are you doing? Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Honey, you can't keep staring at me. I just spat away. <laughs> you're making me nervous, stop it. If you're gonna sit there. I can hardly hear you. You can't laugh at me because you're gonna make me laugh at myself. <clears throat> <clears throat> so guys, it's Handy Hannah, back at it again with the drill. Um, I have too much fun with drill. <laughs> anyway, the point of the vlog today and why I picked up the camera to start filming is because I've got some of our wedding prints in the mail like two days ago and I really want to hang them up. I don't want to drag it out because they're so beautiful. They make me nearly cry every time I look at them. This is one of them. Isn't that beautiful? So they do have glass on them. It's actually special like non-reflective glass. How cool is that? So um, it means that you don't get the like crazy high shine glare off the pictures. So you can see them a little bit clearer, which is so cool. So that's one of them. Then we also have this one. Mum was like, oh, how appropriate. You can't see your ugly faces. I was like, thank you, mum, so much. I just really like that one. It's just so romantic, you know? Just so romantic. And then, last but certainly not least, I got this one. Aren't they beautiful? Our photographer is called Matthew Harper. If you guys want to check him out, I'll leave him linked in the description box. He is incredible. Lily, darling, you can't be looking at me while I'm trying to do handy Hannah stuff, okay? So, I decided I'm gonna hang them up in this hallway because as you can see, we have quite a wide hallway. Like it's like the width of my arms. It's wider than most hallways. I purposely, when we built our house, made it like that because I hate like dingy little narrow hallways. But the problem is, is it looks like a hospital hallway because it's just so long and empty. So what I thought I would do is put these photos in the hallway and I think eventually I'll get like a really nice, like blue or like greeny colored, like velvet ottoman type of thing to sit here as well. So it's kind of like a little sitting area to put your shoes on before you leave for the day, chuck your handbag, your coat or something down, I don't know. Oh, there's a crack over here now, honey. Our house is getting so many cracks, which just happens where we live because of the soil and like the movement in the house. It's like five, five years old, I think now. So it's going to get some cracks, but it's still annoying. I'm going to get the builder to come back and fix it. And it's just annoying having to organize and get the builder out here. But anyway, so I'm just trying to decide how high I want them, these photos. Brett reckons I should have them like higher up, but I think I want them more eye height. So when you walk down the hallway, you look directly at them instead of looking up at them, if that makes any sense. I think that'll look good somewhere around there. And worst case, if I need to move them up higher, I'll just put more screws in the wall because the painter's gonna have to come back and fix the cracks anyway. So if I fuck up the wall with screws, they can fix them too. That's a good idea. Now, whenever I hang pictures, I always use these things, which you just get from Bunnings. Oh, I should also say about the prints. I'll tell you the details where I got the prints from and where I got them framed and everything later. But whenever I'm hanging pictures, I use um, things like this. So it comes with like a little wall plug that um, goes into your gyprock and then you put the screw into the plug. So it's less likely going to like rip out of the gyprock. Better than that. Better than nails. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh golly gosh.
worried taking off three M hooks that they're just gonna like, rip a whole chunk of paint off because that has happened before. them holy moly that looks sick but with these prints um each of them cost 117 australian dollars and that included the framing and also the print itself so i used a website called frameshop.com.au and what you do is you simply upload the file you want printed and you can either opt to just have a frame made or you can actually have the picture itself printed and then they print it and frame it and i got that non-reflective glass on it too so that you can't see any like light bouncing off it um, I actually sort of thought about that for videos especially because I thought well if I get the non-reflective glass it means if you see it in the background of my videos you're actually going to see the pictures and they just look so beautiful. I also got our wedding album printed and I ended up just doing this on Vista print because I just wanted a photo album with like all of my favorite photos from the wedding in here and all of our family photos and stuff. And um, because I found it very hard to pick prints, I just got like all my favorite ones printed in this one big massive coffee table book. So I can look on this, look at this whenever I wanna look at my wedding photos and yeah. So that turned out really nice. And then it was Valentine's Day yesterday and Breddy got me this big, ginormous, beautiful bunch of white roses. White roses are my absolute favorite. So for the sake of making everything look very like Insta-worthy, <laughs> I think I'm gonna move this timber bench in the hall for a second and I'll put my flowers on it so we can make it look really pretty and get an idea of what it'll look like if I had like a velvet ottoman or seat of some kind. Let's try that. I feel like it's too pretty to have hidden away. Oh my god, stop. It's like a shrine to our wedding. I love it. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day. I'm still in my pajamas. It's only 9 a.m. though. It's Sunday. So I think it's okay that I'm still in my pajamas. I'm about to get ready though to like film a little hair care video and do a little makeup tutorial. And Brett's just making a coffee if you can hear the coffee machine in the back. But I just want to quickly finish up this little portion of today's vlog. So I don't know if you remember, but I got um, one of these clear, like acrylic perspexy wishing wells. So on the front of it, it actually says Brett and Hannah, and it has a date that we got married. And then inside I have like some little keepsakey things. So one of my best friends, Joe, got us this candle when we got engaged, which has the date we got engaged on it. I have our cake topper in the back there and we also have these champagne flutes that have Brett and Hannah engraved on them and I have a little photo in the back there. So my wishing well is from Personalized Favors and so are the little champagne flutes and I have no idea where the candle is actually from. I'm so sorry. I just have this little globe thingy which, let me just turn it on. It's got like fairy lights inside of it. So it looks quite pretty at night when it's all lit up. Then I have my Valentine's Day flowers. They're so beautiful. So Vanessa is actually the florist that did my bridal bouquet as well, which was just stunning. Oh, I love my bridal bouquet. There's a colored picture of it in here. If you can see it in there. And then I have these little trunks, which are from a company called Bell & Co Living. And inside these trunks, I have like 
copies of our wedding invitations. I also have all of our cards that we got on our wedding day and they're all stored safe and sound in there. Then I just have the photo album stashed behind there. Oh, and also the bench seat is from a company called Gorgeousness Home, which is in my local town, my local town, my hometown. And I actually really like the timber bench there. Like I don't even think I'll buy a new bench. I'll just leave that one there because I kind of like the little rustic vibe because as well with the buildings that are behind us in our wedding photos, they're like heritage church buildings. So it kind of like matches. The vibe is a vibe, you know?